Hello, it's Sandy Ainley yet again. Nice to talk to you. Uh, I've decided that as it's the beginning, so to speak, um, I shall do a video on myself, or more precise, on subject of myself. I was born to a British father and an Israeli mother and when I was a baby, I was born here in Great Britain and went to France to, whilst my father was working in France for about a year and a half. Then I was with my mother and my brother in Israel for about a year. And whilst my father was finding somewhere for us to, for the immediate family to live, in Great Britain, and I think we landed up living in Finchley Road for a while, in St John's Wood, possibly. Um, and at the age of um, about four, we moved to a place called Edgware, and the close uh, there was a close there that we lived in. And um, when I was about twelve years of age. Um, I auditioned for a ballet, classical ballet school. It might be hard to believe looking at me now because I'm considerably OW, as in overweight. And um, I, I, so happy to say to you that I received a scholarship uh, into this classical ballet school. Um, but very, very sadly, and it is sad, however, there's a happy element to it. Um, I received an eating disorder, which was kind of the um, anorexic stroke bulimic type symptoms. Well, not kind of, literally, the anorexic stroke bulimic symptoms. And I put on a lot of weight, as, and I'm now in my 53rd year, 5'3", I'm uh, about maybe even quadruple or certainly a third of uh, this weight I was when I was about 12. Uh, I danced very nicely, very professional standard and I did get this, uh, this lovely result um, but very sadly the sad part is I didn't do it as a career. The good part is I feel wonderful that if it's maybe God that gave me this gift, or my parents, it's arguable, isn't it? So, yeah, great. Um, I also, I do sing a bit. Um, about 25 years ago, I had a couple of singing jobs, professional singing jobs. And um, one of them was in a shopping mall in a place in Israel called Arad. And it was in an open plan restaurant and I sang ABBA songs. And um, the other job was for a, I think, photographer called, I don't recall the name of the photographer. And even if I do, I'm not gonna say it because I'm not sure if I meant to on, on, on screen. So this photographer needed a voiceover for when the customers came into the shop. So I sang, I think, to the song, you know, from Jesus, was it Jesus Christ Superstars? Um, um, I don't know how to love him. I think that's Jesus Christ Superstar. And I think it was that melody, but with different words to suit the photography place. So, the photographer. So, I sang at a professional standard. I, I don't think I do now. At the time, I was absolutely at a, at a professional standard. And I was in what one or more people called, I think, or certainly one, a semi-professional production of Chicago, where I danced, sang and acted in a chorus part um, at the uh, Bloomsbury Theatre in Euston, London. Kind of ish West End. I have a total obsession with Annie. I love the show to bits. I maybe have heard the song Tomorrow perhaps a million occasions. I'm so obsessed with it. And I wanted to be Annie as a child. And I would say that I certainly was good enough. Um, 
However, I focused on other talents and I didn't get to the Annie auditions. Um, do I regret it? I asked myself. Yes. However, I really am proud that I think to myself I was good enough. And it makes me feel so, so happy that whoever God or my parents, whoever it was, managed to pass on to me these gifts. My acting was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't the best. It was okay. And I played the piano and I hated it. I practiced uh, uh, sometimes on a daily basis. And I literally hated it. I really didn't like it. Um, but I loved all the rest. And at the time, I did well in, in the pianoforte. I got up to my grade eight in, in the pianoforte. So I am proud. But I got past grade eight in, in singing. And I passed my grade eight with a, with a, with a um, almost I got to a distinction. Had I practiced more, I definitely would have been in a high distinction. Did I work hard? I was quite a lazy kid in many respects. And that's why I didn't 100% get my potential with, with, with a lot of whatever it was I was so-called good at when I was younger. So I think I've given you a little bit of a taste of what is part of my past? I hope you enjoy, are you enjoying the video? Uh, I'm going to complete it at this stage. Um, so thank you for listening and I hope to see you soon and please like and subscribe.